hi guys welcome back again this is continuation video of our last video which was related with the locking resources uh, and the locking type basically okay so in this one we will be talking about the intake intent lock so basically intent locks are the lock which create the hierarchy in the locking chain so you know there are a few kind of lock like shared update exclusive you know this kind of very important lock so when there is the hierarchy between the log we can see the log new type of log and that log is called as intent log intent log always start with the i if there is something we start with i then we can say it's a intent log right it may be intent x it may intent exclusive intent is intent shared like this okay next is the schema log so basically whenever we do some kind of ddl operation on database that time the log can be placed and that log is called as the schema log there are two kind of the schema log one is schema m another one is the schema s yes right so whenever we do some kind of altering the object that time a log get placed on the object right and that lock is called as the schema m lock like alter modification okay so uh, schema s lock can be placed when we do the compilation of the execution plan or the execution plan get created that time the lock get placed on the object and those lock we can call as the schema s lock right this is just a brief introduction about the locking locking resources locking type right the edit lock uh, then schema lock we can write here the compiling plans hope you like our video regarding the logs thanks for watching have a great day